again. This is Stephen Welsh, President of the International Chiropractors Association with a daily update for Wednesday, July 1st. Well, I hope you all enjoyed yesterday's review of Clark's Three Laws and the few of Rupert's 10 Dogmas of Science. Well, yesterday I received a copy of a white paper, one not published in a research journal, but one that did include an analysis of some very interesting and surprising data coming out of the CDC. You see, it's regarding the trends in mortality associated with those under 18. It seems that this age group, the one that's least affected by COVID, is actually seeing a decline in mortality during this deadly pandemic. Now, when I looked at the data, I actually had to do a double take. And I thought about it and it kind of reminded me of that story that was circulating back a number of years ago. You know, the one about what happens when doctors go on strike. Well, anyway, I looked at this one graph and it's showing a sharp decline in mortality beginning in March for this age group. It had actually dropped below the expected level of around 700 deaths per week to well under 500 by mid-April and then throughout May. Now, digging down into the data revealed the fact that the age group contributing to the greatest part of the decline during this time frame were the infants, those under one years old. I wonder why that could be. Could it be associated with a decline in well baby checkups? Now, I know that the data is preliminary, and I know that the authors of the white paper are advocates for a cause that challenge some of the medical dogmas we talked about yesterday. But I have to say, data is data, and facts are facts. And when we see the data that contradicts that what is believed by the mainstream, aren't we supposed to ask the question, why? Aren't we supposed to seek the truth? Well, needless to say, one can come up with many theories but it is pretty clear that the reduction in deaths of children during the past three months was not associated with closing down the schools, and nor was it because all the teens are not driving on the streets. And I know the statistics are preliminary, and there will be more data coming in future weeks. So it looks like we'll be able to see if that trend does continue. And oh, by the way, did you hear that Dr. Fauci testified before Congress yesterday? and that the FDA just issued its latest guidance on the development and licensure of vaccine to prevent COVID-19? Well, it's beginning to look like the early reports of a vaccine being available by September are unlikely. Now, given the reassurance from the FDA that there will be no shortcuts on safety, the earliest one is likely to be available is probably in 2021. But then there are those other experts that are opining that it'll take at least two to three years. And then there are the other experts that suggest that by then, we may have already reached herd immunity naturally. The fact is, we just don't know yet. We don't have enough information, but the data continues to come in. But anyway, then I heard that there's a new movie coming out in the next week or two, and it's gonna be distributed in a novel way. You see that, it, that information revolution we talked about? Okay, well, this movie is gonna be bypassing the traditional distribution channels. Now, I'm gonna get a little more information and I hope to be able to report on it tomorrow. Anyway, that's my update for today. Please check out the ICA COVID resource page where you can find a copy of that white paper. And meanwhile, please reach out and connect with the ICA. We are here for you to help you help your patients because they still need that reassurance that there's no need for mass panic and don't forget, you are truly their beacon of hope, and we will get through these challenging times, and we will do it by working together. Thank you.